In this Fusion 360 tutorial, we're going to make a 3D printed GoPro style camera mount. We're going to use an M5 bolt and then model around there for 3D printing. The first step is to insert a component from McMaster Car. Insert McMaster Car component. You'll get a nut, the size will be metric, and it will be M5. We'll get a hex nut, although square nuts work as well. Select one of the nuts. Select the type of CAD file you need. For this, we can go ahead and use no threads because it'll be less file size and complexity. And then select download. This will insert the nut into our Fusion 360 project, and I'm just going to rotate it 90 degrees. So now I have a nut to model the clamp around. Next, I'll create a component, new component, label the component clamp base. Then I'll create a sketch. I can either create a sketch on one of these planes or directly on the nut. I think I'll create a sketch directly on this nut. So now I have this hole right here for the bolt, and now I can start to draw in the nut. I can make an inscribed polygon. So create polygon, inscribed polygon, start from the center. And then if I just get it close here, I can give it an offset. So first, I'll make this line vertical, then I'll press D to give it a dimension so we have some space. Here we can give it 0.15, so it's 0.15 all around. You can adjust this so you have the right clearance to put a nut into your 3D print. And we also need to have a circle that goes around this. So I'll select here and I'll draw this circle. And I want to have a nice amount of space, so I'll draw 15. And then for the clamp to work, we need a place for this clip to go to. So I'll draw some lines down. I'll select the edge of the circle here, draw straight down, then straight across, then straight back up. Notice here that I did not make this coincident. I can fix that with the coincident constraint. And I'll make this vertical. And then we can make these tangent by clicking the tangent constraint. Type in 15 for the dimension here. So now we can extrude by pressing E, select this face and this face. The distance will be two object. We'll select the side of the nut and then press OK. So now we have the nut contained here, but we want to have something that the nut will press against. So we'll go ahead and extrude again. But to do that, we'll go ahead and create a sketch right here. I'll create a sketch on this face. Then I'll press P. And I'll just project in the hole of the nut. So now I can press E. And I can select all of these pieces. And I can go 3.1. So now the nut can't go through. And we have that piece right there. Next, I'll create an offset plane. And I'll have this plane go 3.25. That way we have some space in between the clamp. Then I'll create a sketch right on that offset plane, press P, and I'll just project that face in. Then I can extrude, select this face, type 3.1, then I'll create one more offset plane, 3.25. And this makes this adjustable, so I could change the spacing depending on what I wanted to do. Create a sketch right here, press P, select this face, OK, press E to extrude, and then 3.1. So now I have all the pieces for one side of the clamp. Let's add a base to the clamp. Create a sketch. Draw on the bottom of one of these. We get a rectangle. Dimension this 30 by 40. Use the vertical constraint. Hold shift to get the midpoint. Put that over the origin. So now it's centered. But that won't work for here. We want it to be centered on this one. So I'll press P, project this shape in, select it, press X to make it a construction line, then draw a line from this midpoint to this midpoint, select it, press X to make it a construction line, and then we can make it perpendicular with this edge. So now this base is centered on the clamp. You can adjust that for whatever you need. I'll finish the sketch, press E to extrude, Make sure you select all the shapes, and I'm going to go down 4 millimeters.
We could add holes or anything we need to attach this, but at least I'll add fillet of five millimeters. So besides adding some radiuses and chamfers on this, this side of the clamp is done. So I'll go up to the top level component and I'll create a new component, call this clamp top. And we need to make the pieces that get compressed inside this part of the clamp. Let's create a sketch. I think I'll create a sketch right on this side right here. Then we can press P to project in. We want to get the circle and this top arc. Then press OK. So we're sketching right on this shape here. Then we can press C and draw a circle. And we know that circle was 15. And this time we're going to draw up. So I'll get my line tool and I'll look at the sketch again. And from this point, straight up, straight over, and then down to this point. I'll make this line vertical and this line horizontal. Press D from the center of the clamp to the top. We'll make that 15 millimeters. So now we're ready to extrude. We can press E to extrude, select these two pieces, and we want to go 3.1. If you see here, straight from the left, there's a little bit of gap, so we can adjust that gap. It's 0.15, so we can make our offset, so we put this in the middle. At the start, it's the profile plane, but if I offset a bit, 0.15 divided by 2. So now it is centered inside those two pieces. Press OK. We'll create a new sketch right on this face. Press P. Select the previous part of the clamp we created. Press OK. Now we have that entire profile right here. We'll repeat the extrude. Select these two pieces. Our distance will be 3.1. And once again, we will offset 0.15 divided by 2. So now that is centered right in the middle. Let's create a final sketch on the top to finish off the top of the clamp. And then we'll press P and select that face. We can select all these pieces in the middle. Press X to make them construction lines. And then we can press E and bring this up to full. Let's add a chamfer to these outside walls. Select Modify Chamfer. And if you make that three, that'll make that nice and strong. You can make it even stronger, up to five. Remember, this is 3D printing, so it can be inherently weak. So we want to strengthen that up. Press OK. Then I'll modify Chamfer again and I'll just add a chamfer to these edges. So now that chamfer goes all the way around just to add a little bit more base. Hide the clamp base in the screw. If we go to our selection priority, select edge priority, select everything, fill it 0.5. That'll round off all the edges and press OK. So now this clamp section is done. Of course, you can add mounting holes or change the shape of the base however you want. I'll activate the clamp base, hide the clamp top, and we'll repeat the process of strengthening this. Modify chamfer. Select this outside edge and this outside edge, type 5. Then modify chamfer. Let's get all of these base pieces. We'll type 1, OK. Make sure we have select, selection priority, select edge priority, select everything, fill it, 0.5. We'll go up to the top level component, select inspect, display component colors, and you can see now that our clamp is mostly complete. We can add a bolt and a piece that would glue onto the bolt so you can actually turn a handle. To do that, insert MIG Master Car component, screws and bolts, metric, M5, hex head screws. We'll need a length of at least 30. Select one of the objects, select 3D step. And in this case, we also don't need threads. And then download. We can rotate this 90 degrees. But that's not entirely necessary because we're going to use a joint. Press OK. 
And as you can see how this is not lined up perfectly, but we can create a joint. If I select joint, and I select this face here, and then a face on the nut, it will join right there. Then I can push this forward, and it looks like we could get away with much less than 30 millimeters. So you can insert a different component, but this is just to line up this section here and to test our design. So I press OK. Now I can make one last component if I want to make a little handle that makes it easier to use this bolt. So I go ahead and create a new component, handle. Then I'll create a sketch, and we'll go ahead and create that sketch right on the face of this bolt. Then create an inscribed polygon from the center. Make sure that the sides of the polygon are vertical, and then we can offset this. Remember, we want this to be nice and tight, the head of the bolt, so it's gonna be from this edge right here. And if everything gets a little confusing, you can hide everything but the last piece, so this is definitely that edge. Press D to dimension this. We'll go 0.1, because we're gonna to try to glue that in so it's a nice handle. Then we'll press C, and we'll draw 13 millimeter circle and press E. For this, we want to go to object because this is the part that's going to go around the bolt here. So distance to object. We'll just go to the other side of the bolt head. Press OK. And then do a revolve for the handle. So if I create a sketch, and I draw right in the middle here, and since we're centered on the origin, we can do that. And I'll press P to project in that object. Then I'll draw a line right from the midpoint, and we'll go out some distance. Then up, I'll draw straight this way, taper in a bit, and then over to this point. So now I have a little bit of a taper. We can dimension these pieces. Let's make this one 10, so we have a nice grip for a thumb. Press D and select both these lines to give it an angle. I'll do 135. And then we'll give this D of 10. And the height from here to here, we will make 4. And this height, make 7. So now we have a nice profile for our handle. If I finish the sketch, select Revolve. For the profile, it'll be this profile automatically, and then for the axes, we'll select this axis, and now we have a nice handle that we can grab. Press OK. We want to fill it all of these edges, so first I'll grab the fillet tool, hide the bolt, select all the edges, fill it, 0.5, and then OK. Bring everything back, select the top level component, and now you can see how we have all the pieces we need to make a GoPro style clamp. Hopefully this allows you to make 3D printed clamps in the shape and form that you need. This clamp is basically at the GoPro dimensions, but for 3D printing, we probably wanna make this a little bit beefier and thicker, so it is more robust. Happy 3D modeling.